the students are freezing lauric acid and then they're taking it from its molten state, putting it in a temperature probe, and having the computer develop a cooling curve. So we're finding out where it takes in the heat of fusion and where it takes in uh, the heat of temperature change. It's supposed to be readings per minute. We have to show samples per minute. Well, I have more of an inquiry style where uh, we present things and then let them try to figure it out. So I don't often give lab sheets where they just uh, follow step by step by step like a cookbook approach. I usually will put up a problem and have them discover. And we've been doing specific heat problems, trying to find specific heats of different metals. And so this is an application of that. Otherwise, they went through and did all five steps. Now take a look at your homework paper. Take a look at your homework paper, please. And see if it matches.